Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. We've just busted out of jail and we've been caught by these Koopas. So uh, they're going to try to go into a battle with us. And for some reason we get many boss music. I don't know why. I've fought harder battles than this before. Uh, but it looks like we're going to get to show off our new party members. So let's start by flipping over this Koopa. And we're going to get to see what uh, Bombette can do here. Which she has Body Slam, which we're going to go ahead and use. I just hold A until the star lights up. Pretty easy stuff, not really a difficult action command by any means. So let's just block these guys so they don't do any damage. And uh, let's go ahead and finish off this Koopa. And now I'm going to let Bombette show off her actual ability in battle, which is going to be helpful. She can use Bomb, explode and, explode and destroy a ground on, an enemy on the ground. Ugh, I can't speak. Okay, so to do this, just press A repeatedly until it fills up the meter. Uh, again, pretty simple stuff. Does three damage and goes ahead and explodes that ball bomb for us, so... Pretty nice. She's pretty much our heaviest attacker at this point, besides Mario, of course. And we're gonna just go ahead and use a power jump to finish this guy off. So there we go. We get our star points and uh, used our new party member. So awesome. And we also get a ton of coins from this battle. Uh, we're up to 126. That's actually quite a few at this point. But, um... Alright, so now we're back down here in the staircase. If you remember to the left is that basement area with the three Koopa battles. I don't think we have to do that again if we go in there. <laughs> Wouldn't think so. But anyway, we're pretty much just continuing the way we went. But uh, before we do that, if we come down here, we can see there's a door. Uh, there's nothing really important. There's a save point, and that's literally it. So, <laughs> I don't know. I guess if you wanted to save in the middle of the dungeon, you could do it that way. But also, if we come over here, we can see there's a cracked wall, so let's use Bombette and it opens up, we can go outside and go to this new little pathway out here. Kind of a jarring change of music, but there you go. So we get the refund badge, which refunds some coins if you use an item in battle. Uh, that can be helpful if you're a little short on coins, but I'm usually not, so I probably won't ever be equipping that. <laughs> but there you go, that's how you get it. So now we can just keep going and uh, go up, go up, go up. And we can head on through this door. Now there, yeah, there's... Oh, man. And while I was in the middle of that battle, I not only did I take a stupid amount of damage, but I also realized that we uh, actually can't proceed forward here yet. Uh, you, you do still remember that I said we would hit a dead end and need a key to continue. Well, we haven't picked up that key. I was thinking about it on the way up. It's like, I know I'm forgetting to do something, but that's what it was. So we want to head back down, and actually what we're doing now is heading back to the left, back to pretty much like the opening hallway of this dungeon here. And of course, there's a key there, there's a cracked wall there, so obviously we can get that key now using the bombette. So we get it. And now we can go forward. So that's all I really needed to come back for. You can also use bombette to get to the, uh, the place that held the power jump, or not power jump, the power bounce badge. Uh, but, you know, you can also just use that little gap that we used at the beginning, so no real big deal there. I guess they expect you not to be able to figure that out or something. Which I can admit, it is it is a little bit hidden, so I can see how you wouldn't see it. Alright. Oh good, there's not another paratrooper. So now we can use that key to get through this door. And head on through here. So now this is a, a puzzle in the very loose interpretation of the word. Uh, we can pretty much just use Cooper to hit these switches, and whenever we do that, these platforms come out. Let's use them to get across to the other side, and then kick the switch again in order to uh, make our way forward open again. And just repeat on the other side, so pretty simple stuff. You should be able to figure this out without any trouble. So just one more, and we'll uh, finish this part off. Okay, now we can go up these stairs and through this door. We're actually getting pretty close to done with this place. Now we got another Koopa here to deal with. Actually, I'm going to switch back to Goombario for his head bonking abilities, and let's go. Alright, there we go. As you can see, I ended up switching to Cooper, just personal preference, I guess. I don't know, I end up not using Goombario that much until a little bit later. But... So there we go, we defeat that Koopa and we can hit the switch in order to lower these stairs. That seems to be a common theme in this place. Defeat the enemy, hit the switch, lower the stairs. Uh, because as you can see, there's another locked door here and uh, we can't open it. So let's head on down here and see what we've unlocked. So we get down here and we can use Bombette to open this cracked wall. And head on through it, which will get us to this key that, that uh, the green Koopa brother placed here right at the very beginning of uh, this dungeon, so cool. And of course, using that, we can just continue on now. Pretty simple stuff. Again, it's not really that complicated. It is the first dungeon, so... Uh, you kind of expect that to be a little bit easy. 
Alright, and over here we can uh, flip the switch, or hit the switch rather, and it'll raise this water. This is kind of cool looking. I like how the Koopas get all confused. They were just kind of resting peacefully there in their water. I'm like, holy crap, the stairs are rising. What do we do? What do we do? So they start running around and we can defeat these guys. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's get this guy. And there we go, that takes care of both of those. You know, you don't have to defeat those guys. You don't have to defeat a lot of the enemies in this fortress, really. Uh, but I kind of like doing that in RPGs, just to make sure that you're at uh, the correct level, you know? Like, even if you only get, like, four SP out of it or something. Every little bit helps, in my opinion. So we come over here and we can get the Smash Charge Badge. When charged, Mario's hammer goes up by two. Uh, his hammer power goes up by two, so that can be kind of useful as well. Uh, I am actually going to switch my badges around a little bit. I'm going to get rid of power bounce because I don't really use it that much at this point. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> Nothing really useful, huh? Okay, well... I don't know, let's just put hammer throw back on it. It, it, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we can come out here and we're actually pretty close to done with this place. Uh, where that's actually where the, all the Koopa Brothers are hanging out. They're gonna come out here. And, uh, of course, Red has to be the cool leader one. Well, 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 Mario, I'm in the bet you make it this far. Pfft, don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah, boys, open fire! Oof, and then they start shooting these bullet bills at us. So, these can be avoided. They can just be jumped over. It's not really that difficult. You just have to have somewhat decent reaction time. And let me guess. Uh, yep, our inventory's full. That's actually a nice item at this point, though, so we're gonna keep that. Uh, let's, we haven't used any of this stuff yet. I keep wanting to show it. Let's just toss the fry jar, because it's. I'm not really gonna have much use for it. So now we wait, and we can go up here. I like to just be on this bottom part so we can jump over and uh, just jump over the ones that are really close to the front of the screen. It's pretty easy to see. Alright, there we go. Now we can make it over here and we can recover, which is good, and there's also a save block. Uh, and of course we're actually going to have to fight these uh, things in battle. What I like to do is actually get a first strike with Bombette. You can make this pretty easy uh, if you use Bombette. Uh, so, we, you know, that takes out one with the first strike, and then we can also use a bomb uh, again. Take out the middle one. And see, now there's only one left. The reason I pretty much like to use Bombette is if you try to just do, like, the hammer then you only do like one damage, you know, it's kind of useless. So uh, then we can take out the bullet bill that it shoots by using a power jump, which is good, and then use another bomb. So, you know, it's nice that they give you that little recovery block down there so you can do this. And uh, using that, that makes this battle actually pretty easy. So it takes care of them. Let's get the massive amount of coins and the one little FP recover that we don't need. Now we're at 152 coins, which is great. And uh, with that, I say we head up here now. And this is the chamber where the Cooper Brothers are hanging out. This is actually the final room of the dungeon. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time for this entire battle. If not, then, well, you know, we'll just put it in between two parts. Don't really like to do that very much, but uh, sometimes it can't be helped. I don't want to stop the video at eight minutes, you know. Ow, my shell, get off. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally. Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Well, holy crap, it's Bowser. What's he doing here? Hmm. I've been waiting for you, Mario. The strongest and the coolest. Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Saving the peach? Please. Watch this and weep. Uh-oh. This guy looks serious. Is it Bowser? Well, probably not. Bowser? And uh, Okay, it's fairly obvious it's not Bowser, but I figured I'd at least play along with it. So, uh, this can be done pretty simply also. Well, crap, I kind of meant to hit that uh, action command there. It can be a little weird when the enemy's really high up to try to hit the action command on a jump. Uh, but hopefully it won't slow us down too much. You can also block that, and it does no damage. Gahahaha, I'm invincible! You are powerless before me! Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. We're kind of kicking your butt right now, so... Um, let's actually just give this guy a hammer. Just one damage. So, uh, he's got one defense on him, apparently. Now let's bomb him again. This might do it. Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! 
poof, and then it explodes. So is that it? No, of course that's not it. We've still got the actual Cooper Brothers to deal with. So after the uh, the Bowser thing explodes, the four of them come down in really cool fashion, and here come the Cooper Bros. All right. So this is where the boss battle actually starts. As you can see, the Bowser thing was pretty pathetic. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. Uh-oh, what are they going to do? The Cooper Brothers special super spinning attack. There we go, we can block. That's kind of hard to time. You have to have good reaction time to that. Okay, so as you can see, these guys kind of mean business. Blocking that meant uh, three damage. So, you know, they got a pretty high attack power. But uh, it looks like we're going to have to take these guys out in the next part. So uh, in the next part, we'll take on the Cooper Brothers and see if we can't knock the crap out of them. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.